the third game using the Minecraft name has been released to some mediocre reviews. Personally I was looking forward to this game because I love Minecraft and action RPGs, so I was disappointed when I watched people like Skillup and Jim Sterling speak so badly of the game. Hi everyone, my name is Adzi and today I'm going to answer the question, does Minecraft Dungeons deserve the hate? Don't forget to subscribe, now on to the video. Even after watching all of these reviews, my curiosity never faded. I thought to myself, how bad can it be? The gameplay looks pretty fun and I like the visuals of the game, so I said feck it and I bought it. After 10 plus hours and nearly beating the game 3 times and going for the platinum, I can safely say that I really like this game. Now I'm not here to tell you that it's the best action RPG ever, it's not even close to it, but it's a bit of mindless fun with a nice platinum trophy. I made it my goal to play the game solo so that my opinion wouldn't be skewed by playing with my friends. So I'm going to present you the things that I like and explain who I think this game is for. From the get go this game is baby's first action RPG. Now there's nothing wrong with this, like all action RPGs you kill enemies, find loot and level up. I love the visuals of the game, the environments are well varied and look great in the voxel based graphics. One level you're exploring a swamp filled with witches, the next you're in a mine with vibrant redstone deposits scattered throughout. The developers did a great job in using the source material to make some pretty interesting locales. Now I'm not going to lie, the combat in the first half of your initial playthrough is very bare bones. You don't have enough skill points to put into your weapons to make them powerful and the artifacts you get, which are the game's version of character class skills, are just okay. But trust me, it does get a lot better in the subsequent playthroughs. I know this is a cop out saying that the game gets better after 5 hours, but it's true. There are no traditional character classes, which is a bit of a disappointment, but the variety of weapons, armors and artifacts do allow you to make your character into a certain build. I'm genuinely surprised at the amount of weapon types there are in the game. There's about 12 or 13 different types of weapons, some of which play completely differently to the others. There's roughly the same amount of artifacts as there are weapons, so there's a decent amount of customization. Every weapon has enchantments, and you use your skill points to upgrade these. Now one major negative with the character customization is that you only have one armor slot. Minecraft has 4 slots for armor so why dumb it down too much? I know this game is mostly aimed towards kids, but one armor slot is a bit ridiculous. Even with this you can build your character whatever way you like. You can be a quick assassin using speed boost artifacts to get in and out with ridiculously fast attack speeds, or a paladin with a massive hammer focusing on healing with your attack and boosting defense. Near the end of my second playthrough I was going for a soul harvester build. When I kill enemies they drop souls, which racks up into a mana bar of sorts, allow me to use artifacts that need souls. I'm not here to tell you that this game is the best thing since sliced bread, but I am here to tell you that the game is worth 20 euro if you like Minecraft and action RPGs. There are better games out there like Torchlight 2, Diablo 3 and Path of Exiles, but this game still is very fun. So let's talk about the source material and how I think the devs implemented it. So they kept the nice visuals, really well represented what these levels would look like in the Minecraft engine. They did a good job of adding variety to the mobs as well. There are plenty of basic enemies like pillagers, zombies and skeletons, all of which have harder and enchanted variants. I never got bored of the enemies, but where I think they fecked up are the bosses. They reuse the same mini bosses throughout the game. You fight either redstone golems, evokers and enderman mainly. The redstone golems can be pretty easily cheesed with range damage but they are just arrow sponges and the other two can be better killed by melee attacks. Where's the ender dragon and wither? One of the main bosses is an even bigger redstone golem, so why not use the ender dragon or wither? You don't go to the end or the nether in this game, but they could have easily done a bonus level where you visit these iconic locations. The lack of bosses is my main gripe with the game. It just makes no sense that they didn't use any of the already established Minecraft bosses that I'm sure many of us would have loved to fight. So now that we have my thoughts out of the way, who's this game for? I think the main demographic that it's looking at is the typical Minecraft gamer. The young kid who just loves Minecraft and is begging their parents to buy it. Just because of the name attached to it. And for a kid, I think the first playthrough is a good difficulty for them. I died only a handful of times on my first playthrough so I think it would be perfect. It's a good introduction to a genre which only has a few modern games in it, and it's a genre that's never marketed towards kids. So who knows, some might love it and move on to playing some of the better games in the genre, and if it does then it's a win. For the more hardcore gamer, there is enough here to keep your interest. To be honest, I'm pretty hooked on this game and really enjoy playing it over the past few days. As I said, the first playthrough is pretty easy but the next two difficulties are tough, and I think I might need the help of my friend to get through the final few levels. And for the hardcore action RPG fans, there might be enough here for you but I have played many of the greats in the genre and I've still enjoyed the game. It's a cheap game and will drop in price in the future. I would recommend it at the 20 euro price point but if you're still on the fence, wait for a sale. So let me know what you think of the game, 
Did you enjoy playing it or do you regret buying it? Thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all on the next video.